This is a reminder. This is for informational purposes only. Take this information to your healthcare provider and let your healthcare provider decide what is going to be the best course of action. Uh, also important to remind all of you that we are not making any medical recommendations. We are not suggesting that our products can be used to treat or cure any type of different health condition. Again, this information is for informational purposes only. Our patch products and our aromatherapy mists are general wellness products. So we'll segue then, since we're talking about nitric oxide, let's talk about erectile dysfunction. Now I get this question answered sometimes. Uh, you know, this is kind of embarrassing for men if they're having a problem getting erections. They don't want to ask this question publicly on a conference call. So let's talk about it. I know there are men that are suffering with this. Uh, what do you do? First thing is if you have erectile dysfunction, it definitely is an indicator of a more serious health condition, uh, cardiovascular disease, almost all the time, if, if you were playing the odds. Not necessarily, though, so I don't want to scare you because there is a chance that you could have erectile dysfunction and it's completely psychological. Um, but um, you want to talk to your doctor about this and some of these recommendations. So we want to talk a lot about poor circulation. Sometimes uh, men tend to think that this is a decline in testosterone, but clinically you can elevate testosterone levels in men and not improve erectile function. And this is because of the cardiovascular or psychological component. But that said, we do want to elevate testosterone because it will improve libido and decrease estrogen. Um, so we'll obviously want to be looking at nutrition and sleep and uh, exercise. So what do we do here? Well, we're gonna talk about heart issues in a moment, uh, but obviously we've gotta improve circulation and it's way more comprehensive than simply elevating nitric oxide. Nitri elevating nitric oxide is important, but I'd look at it as a Band-Aid. Um, you've gotta to get to the root of the problem. Um, Improving hormone profile, uh, elevating testosterone is going to be important, elevating growth hormone, um, and of course, exercising to reduce body fat. When you've got body fat around the middle, you're going to have elevated levels of estrogen. And um, so that's the compelling reason to go on a diet and exercise. Melatonin, of course, is going to be linked to uh, testosterone, and uh, you're going to get increases in testosterone at night. So improving your sleep is important. So because erectile uh, dysfunction is a medical condition, we don't make any claims that our patches treat or cure this disease. These recommendations here are simply for improving overall health. If you're improving the overall health of the body, then the other recommendations are going to uh, provide you with better results. Okay, so there are a number of ways to elevate nitric oxide. The most common way that people know of is by taking an arginine supplement, uh, and that's okay depending on how you're doing it, but I don't think it's necessarily the best way. Uh, an overall good way to do it is, as we've talked about, garlic extract and vitamin C. 800 milligrams garlic extract to two grams of vitamin C does a wonderful job at elevating nitric oxide. Pycnogenol, about 100 milligrams, uh, has been shown to elevate nitric oxide and improve erectile function. Black ginger is another option. Uh, for improving erectile function. Uh, Tongkat Ali, 100 to 400 milligrams daily will improve testosterone levels. And uh, so that could be a good supplement. 
Taurine, we talked about that a little bit before, three to five grams per day, not only is great for anti-aging, but is shown in clinical studies to support testosterone levels. And of course, as we do our resistance training and we change our body composition, we're going to be improving our hormone profile. Now, uh, one thing we might not normally think about is the role of sugar to testosterone. But if you have a, a diet high in sugar, I can guarantee that you're going to have lower testosterone levels. Uh, one interesting way of elevating testosterone and improving erectile function, uh, you can find this in the book, The 4-Hour Body. Uh, really interesting book, by the way, by Tim Ferriss. And, um, and uh, so what he recommends in his adventures uh, is to take grass-fed beef, eggs, grass-fed butter, and almonds about 24 hours prior to having sex. Uh, there's a specific formula in his book uh, because of copyright. I won't get into the details here, so you can go and read his book to find out, or you can simply find it online. Uh, you can Google this and you'll find it. Uh, but anyway, I mean, what he's doing here is uh, causing very significant increases in cholesterol, which will drive uh, up testosterone. That might be okay uh, for someone in their 20s or 30s, might not be okay for someone in their 50s or 60s. So consult with your doctor.